Hey guys, isn't crafting always better with friends? Well, today I'm here with Kathy from the blog Merriment Design. Hi guys. And we are going to take some basic wooden boxes and trays and transform them into designer pieces to showcase your makeup and jewelry. So stick around and learn how. Here's what you'll need. All right, Kathy, you can find these inexpensive wooden trays and boxes at just about any craft store. So today, we are gonna take these wooden rectangles and give them a trendy herringbone design. First up, we gotta paint these bad boys. Okay, let's All get right. to it. Let's get to it. So Kathy, you came up with this color palette, which I love. Why did you pick these colors? Thank you. I, you know, it's spring is coming. I think it's just really great to have a springy, fresh palette. And you're right; these are very on trend. And I also wanted to do something that my daughter would really like. So I thought that these colors would be great. Okay, Kathy. Our rectangles have had time to dry after we gave them two coats of paint. So now it is time to glue them onto our tray and our box. For this, we're going to use E6000. It's kind of like an industrial strength glue, but you need to use it in a well-ventilated area. So if that's a problem for you, you should just stick to regular old wood glue. To start, we're gonna put um, a generous bead of glue on about half of the surface that we're working with. So once you've done, you know, about a third of the surface, we're gonna start in one corner and go ahead and get your second color because this is how we're going to line up these guys because you want the first tile that's gonna set your pattern for the whole thing to meet the second tile halfway so that when you put your next row on, they meet up evenly. And once you get these three in place as kind of your guide, it's really easy to just pop these tiles right in. When you start off, if you have a triangle in this upper corner, it's kind of a little right triangle, you know that you're starting the pattern off in the right way and then you just sort of keep filling it in on down. All right, so to fill in some of these outer edges, you just want to eyeball, you know, what size you need your rectangle to be and kind of trim off the excess. I kind of score it and then just snap that piece off and then clean up the rough edges. Mm -hmm. So you see that can kind of just pop in. All right, while I finish gluing my tray, Kathy's gonna show you how to finish the box. So to finish the box, I did overhang here and just let it all dry so it's nice and dry. Flip it over and you can see we're gonna be cutting all of this part off here. So grab your utility knife, be very careful and just run it along the edge and just do it over and over and over again. Because this balsa wood is almost like, it's almost like cutting paper. You know, if you yeah. dug your knife in and pulled really fast, it would like shred your paper. Exactly. You pretend like it's a it's a big sheet of paper or maybe some cardstock or foam core, and just treat it like that. See, this worked really well, and it's a nice flat edge there. Now, while you're cutting, you're going to get a little bit of an unfinished wood edge again, but don't worry about that. We're just going to paint it all up at the end. All right, once you've let your glue dry, you can fill your tray and box with, well, whatever you want. We're going with some random, you know, makeup brushes. Um, I have some perfume bottles and some bracelets, you know, stuff that was cluttering up my dresser. And I went ahead and painted the inside of mine gold. So pretty. <laughs> when I open it up, it's a happy little feeling with the gold inside. It's super glam. It is super glam. I love it. All right. Well, Kathy, this is so much fun. I hope you come back and do another episode of HGTV Crafting with us sometime. Thank you. I'd love it. All right, guys. We'll see you next week.